What's up y'all? We are back with another video and in this, today's video we are going to be doing some press-ons of course and we are going to be doing plaid nails so stay tuned for the final look um, and before I get started you know there's a couple things I'm going to get into but before I get started I gotta say this rest in peace take off rest in power long live take off okay I'm not a clout chaser and I normally don't even address stuff like that on my channel but I felt compelled to because I am a Migos fan and I remember way back from Versace, First 48, their mixtapes, just to name a couple of songs that I like, Bad and Bougie, um, Motorsport. I play these songs a lot in my car when I'm riding, or I used to, when I really listen to rap music. I've been getting away from listening to rap music these last few years, um, just because of what it's doing to the black community. You know, and you can't really blame it on the music. I mean, those of us that are old enough to know that it's just for entertainment purposes, we know better, but still, you know, I just don't condone violence of any sort. But however, rest in peace take off. And that was very unfortunate. I've never met him. Um, but from what I'm hearing on the vlogs and things like that, he was a very humble, very quiet, kept person. Wasn't in the, you know, the mix of drama and things like that. He lived a personal, private, personal life. So rest in peace to that young man. That is very, very unfortunate. And I'm going to get into that later. Um, however, I want to do some housekeeping stuff. And I'm using my mauve about you, not polish uh dip and dab so before i you know get into that topic again i want to do some housekeeping things um i don't know why trolls feel like it's necessary to go to smaller channels and leave negative comments i want y'all to comment those of you that are watching my videos i want y'all to comment however however if you have nothing nice to say don't say nothing at all don't tell me to sync my videos. Don't tell me, you know what I'm saying? And it's all in the way that you say it. You know, I'm I'm open to critiquing. You know, I'm, if you're if you're a subscriber and you watch my videos on the regular, then you know that I already came on here and I've addressed camera quality and things like that. I'm not a technical person and I've come a long way. Editing these videos, uh, I've taught myself. I didn't have you know anybody do it for me i don't have other people editing my videos um and a lot of the time i'm killing two birds with one stone so it's a recording that i've taken off of my social media so if you follow me there you can watch this in real time or if you are on my social media and you don't want to sit there for an hour or however long it takes me to do complete the look on my live stream then you can come over here and watch the edited version and hear me do uh, uh, a voiceover uh so I don't need the negative comments because all I'm going to do is block it. I don't need views that bad. Like, I'm not a clout chaser. I'm not going to leave up negative comments. I will block your ass. So you've been warned. If you come over here trying to degrade me. And a lot of the times when I go to people channels that leave negative comments, they don't even have a channel. They have no subscribers and no videos. So move around. Anyways, those of you that watch my videos and are respectful, you know, you're more than welcome to comment. And I appreciate your views and I appreciate you watching. And thank you very much. It's just sad that we have some sick people in the world. Okay. Um, with that being said, I wanted to kind of get into uh, how COVID changes your body. It changes your brain. It changes. It just changes. You feel different after getting COVID. And I think that's what the world is dealing with now. There are some people that weren't okay pre-COVID, before COVID, and they're really not okay now. Um, it takes such a toll on you that I believe it does something to the brain, like the neurotransmitters in your brain. It just it just changes the chemical balance in your brain. Um, I got COVID earlier this year, as we know, I talked about that on other videos from a dirty salon that I was working in. And I know I got it from that salon because I didn't leave my house really. And yeah, there was people sick and coughing and I did wear a mask and I still got it. Um, you know, there's people that are vaccinated that still catch COVID and die from it, unfortunately. Um, things are just crazier in the world you know i feel like this stuff was created to do what it's doing you know they're the the common sense the respect the you know just having respect for your common your your everyday human you know it's like i don't like leaving my house i do not because i don't want to have 
or witness any type of negative encounters with people and people are not okay you got a lot of people that are you know still trying to bounce back from you know quarantine and, and things like that and so it, it's stressful we're still in a stressful time and those of you that are talking about we outside and stuff like that i feel like it was kind of rushed you know things are different things aren't going to ever go back that's one thing in this life things are always constant things don't go back we're constant constantly moving forward in this continuum called life as we know it so there's no going back this is our reality now um the only thing that we can do as human beings is make it as pleasant and peaceful as possible for ourselves and those that we care about around us um but yeah COVID definitely changes you like I had it like I was saying earlier I, I had it earlier this year um and then I had it you know, over the summer again and then I had it uh 2019 going into 2020 and I didn't know what was going on I just lost my appetite for months um and then I finally had got like flu like symptoms which I normally get sick once a year at least once a year uh you know with bronchitis and things like that because I have breathing issues so yeah it just it drains you and that last time that I got it I feel different like I just do not feel like myself like my energy levels are different um cognitive things are different and the crazy thing about it when I caught COVID this past summer I didn't really feel sick it was attacking my brain I, I kept shaking um and I called I had my husband call 911 and they were like, well, she doesn't have a fever or anything, but we can take her to the hospital. I was going to commit myself to the uh, to the to, to the psych ward because I didn't feel sick. I felt crazy. Like I, I, I just kept having weird thoughts and I was in delusion. But I didn't go to the emergency room and thank God because I didn't need to commit myself. I actually had COVID. I later went to the emergency room. You know, my husband drove me instead of going in the ambulance and paying nine hundred dollars for them. I waited out since they said I didn't have a cough. My breathing was fine and things like that. And um, when I went to a different hospital than the one they were going to take me to, that's mainly the reason why I didn't go with the EMTs, because they were going to take me to a hospital I don't like. Um, and when I went to a different hospital, they were like, you, in fact, have COVID full blown, like you know and they kept me in the hospital for a few hours but they let me go because they said my breathing was good but i did have a fever and they didn't give me anything they just gave me an iv because they said i was like dehydrated and that's the crazy thing i drink water like these last three years you know i've been drinking more water than i ever have in my whole lifetime because i hate drinking water it tastes weird to me but i've learned to like it so for those of you that say you don't like water you can teach yourself to like water look how beautiful that nail is by the way i love this color um we just you know land acrylic there's not, not much to you know explain here if you want me to explain something about the nail process please leave it below and i'll make a video just for you anyways so i i, I was like i'm drinking a bunch of water how am i dehydrated but you got to think you're sweating. Uh, if you have diarrhea, it's not to be graphic, you're, you're losing water that way. But something about COVID, it just sucks the life out of you. It literally sucks all the water out of you because I was drinking water and they still gave me an IV. Maybe the hospital just gave me an IV just, you know, to charge my insurance. But they gave me an IV and said I was severely dehydrated. And I'm like, I've been drinking water all day. I drink water and tea and every now and then I'll drink a soda. But we call it pop here in the Midwest and pop doesn't do, it doesn't even taste that good like I used to like Sprite and Squirt I don't even care for those pops anymore they just they're nasty they're not made the same stuff is nasty and that's another thing too COVID changes you things that you used to like your taste buds it's gonna change I used to be able to smell every single thing like I had a keen sense of smell before COVID now I really can't smell that much um I remember I was going to the bakery to get my son's cake and I was just starting to feel better, thank God, by his birthday this past July. And the guy was asking me what I wanted on a cake. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. I cannot hear you. Like, I have to, I had to turn my right ear. I couldn't hear out my left ear at all, which is something that they, you know, say is one of the symptoms or one of the, you know, things you just kind of have to deal with. And your hearing may or may not get better. So my, luckily my hearing did come back, but it's not a hundred percent. So I really can't hear out my left ear because of COVID. Um, but that's when I realized 
this was probably like a week after I got out the hospital. I went to go get my baby's cake because I still had to celebrate his 10th birthday. That's a monumental birthday for a kid. So I, you know, mustered up the strength. I wasn't coughing. Um, really didn't have a cough this this time around getting it, but it changes you. And so there are people out here that think they're okay and they're not because COVID is that serious. If it can claim the life of people that was once healthy and they're just gone, you know, those of us that have survived it, we're different. It's not just me. So I wanted to raise awareness on that. You know, there's people out here doing things and trying to pretend like they're okay. They're not okay mentally. They're not okay physically because they done caught COVID or whatever sickness. And it changes your biorhythms. It changes everything. And by bio biorhythm, I mean your sleeping patterns. Like I do not sleep at night. Uh, mainly because mainly because of covid like i used to sleep just fine at night but since this last time this third and final time i'm not catching covid again this third and final time that i caught it uh i have not been able to sleep at night but luckily right now it is 10 35 a.m it is november 3rd um i was able to get some kind of sleep last night but it wasn't like i don't sleep deep rim sleep at night i'm up at night you know and that's not normally me like I am a night owl, but normally like around two o'clock, one o'clock, I'm going to bed. That's not been, that has not been the case. So I'm trying to get my biorhythms back and things like that. So you have people that are like me or worse, and they're out here and they're interacting with other people and they're not in their right mind. They're very irrational. They're thinking with their frontal lobe. I'm a psych major. Sorry, sue me. Don't care. But they're thinking with their irrational part of their brain, which is the frontal lobe. And um i believe that is i'm kind of rusty but yeah and they're doing things you know and then you get situations where people end up losing their lives unfortunately because people are just the you know you add alcohol and different substance substances to that it makes it worse it makes it worse you know we are not okay as a people this isn't just a black thing this isn't just a white thing this is a humanity thing and I don't normally come on here and preach, but this video, this is what it is. It has to stop. Now, furthermore, you know, in the black community, we do need to unify and we do need to stop killing each other. Black lives have to start mattering to us. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all can scream black lives matter all you want. You won't catch me here. You won't catch me saying that because, you know, I know I don't have to yell it. I know. Black lives matter to me. My son's life matter. My life matter. My mother, my siblings, you know what I'm saying? So on and so forth. People that I care about. All lives do matter. But black lives have to start mattering to us and other people that want to harm us. We have to first be unified within ourselves before y'all get it. Y'all get it, man. Like, man, so many people are saying this. And it's not because, you know, Takeoff is a celebrity. When somebody dies, the celebrity goes away from me. That is a young man who has a mother who is a, a rumored to have a child, allegedly. Um, that is a, a brother, a nephew, a cousin. He has loved ones. You know what I'm saying? It's not about him being one third of the Migos. It's about this is a black young man who life once again has gotten snuffed out. And like Fat Joe was saying, I was watching his video on 9 Mag. You know, and back in the day, back in the 90s, it used to be you hear about a rapper every once a couple years getting killed or dying because of something. Now it's like every other week, every other month, you're hearing about somebody being murdered at the hands of somebody else. And let me tell you, from somebody that has lost two brothers at the hand of gun violence, it is not the same as losing somebody in an accident or losing them to natural causes it's not the same. You grieve the hardest. The worst way to lose somebody is knowing that somebody took their life out. It makes you wonder, well, why would that person think that this loved one of mine isn't good enough to be on this earth? You are not God. You are not God. And those people that murder, you can ask God for forgiveness, but this is how I see it. You don't have to answer for every other, every action and every word you utter, you are going to have to answer one day for that. And I apologize for, you know, my voice trembling and getting 
shaky, but it's because this strikes home with me. I've lost a, my baby brother, my only younger sibling, and I've lost a big brother that was like a father figure to me. I get tired of hearing about gun violence and black, young black men being murdered. And then you have ignorant people that want to say, oh, well, what did they do? You don't have to do anything. As we saw the gruesome videos with takeoff, you don't have to do anything. You could just be at the wrong place at the wrong time and lose your life. You could be sitting in your house eating breakfast. There was a story here in my city years ago. Baby girl was just sitting in her house eating her breakfast at the breakfast table, about to get ready for school. She was excited. I think she was in kindergarten and some fools outside on another street on a whole nother block has a high power machine gun and shoot and kill that baby girl may she rest in peace you don't have to be doing anything to be shot and killed these days and it's sickening and it's sad and i know that i do nails and i know that i come on here and normally i'm joking or i'm talking about something very trivial but this i'm using my platform to speak up because clearly I have a lot of guys that come on here and like to troll me. So if you want to listen to something, if you want to troll something, let's have a conversation. Meet me down in the comments. Let's talk about why y'all want to pick up guns and kill one of your own soldiers. We all need each other. God didn't put us on our individual planets because we are, we are okay by ourselves. No, we are a type of being that need sociability and need one another. When you do things, it affects people. It's a ripple effect. It affects hundreds of times over. And whether it was an accident or whether it was done on purpose, a life was taken. And one thing I cannot stand is how the black community, not to dog on us, we have to stop this, stop snitching, don't snitch. Snitch, snitch, snitch. Somebody said in the comments on YouTube, and I thought this was so ignorant, oh, Quavo snitching. It ain't snitching, that's his nephew. He wants justice for his nephew. It ain't snitching if he was there and he know that he was wrongfully, you know, taken out of this world. That's not snitching. We got to start holding each other accountable. And I can say this, and I want you to come in my comments and troll me, but black people do not like accountability. Not in our family lives, not in our personal lives, and not around each other. That's where that stop snitching stuff came from. We have to hold each other accountable. I don't care if you're the biggest head honcho of the biggest cartel gang, whatever you want in your mind, you need to be held accountable for the things you do. To the smallest BG, you need to be held accountable. Everybody, I don't care if you're a church going Sunday church woman, you need to be held accountable. We all have to have accountability. If I'm in the streets and I'm acting a damn fool, hold me accountable. And people do. People hold me accountable because they say I need to sync my video on YouTube. They hold me accountable for way less. So this whole snot, stop snitching thing, it came from that. So we're supposed to just let the criminals run amok, huh? They've instilled fear in us to where we don't hold each other accountable. I hold everybody to the same accountability that I hold myself. And that's what people don't like. They don't like accountability. This is silly. This is goofy to be like, oh, don't snitch. Okay, until it's at until it's one of your loved ones, then you want somebody to come forward. You want somebody to go to the police and tell what they saw then. How you know I know? Because I've been there twice. I've been there twice. And instead of going to the police, it seems like to me, and I've had this happen. With both of my brothers, may they both rest their sweet souls in peace. They don't have a care in this world anymore. And that's how I get peace knowing that they're okay because they're resting. They're not in heaven. They're not in hell. They're resting. Anybody that dies right now is sleeping. They have no memory, no recollection. According to God's word, they have no memory of this life and they're sleeping and they're awaiting judgment day. Okay. No, they're not floating around watching us. No, they're not angels. God created all the angels he was going to make. They're resting. They have no recollection of this life. And thank God, because that would be suffering in itself to remember what went on on this earth. Praise God. Whew. Y'all got me upset. Y'all really do. For the person that was trolling, may God be with you. I don't know who you are, but you got a lot of time on your hands to create a fake page and troll people. Okay. 
You need to take that energy and, and convert it to positive energy. But we got to stop that. We got to start holding each other accountable. We really do. That's where it begins. We can't raise up another uh, uh, MLK or Malcolm X or Huey P. Newton or anything like that until we start holding each other accountable. It's getting worse and worse and worse and worse. You know what I mean? And right here, I'm just doing my plaid. I'm using some white beetles. I'm using my red uh, Ijo Beauty. I think it's called Scarlet McGall. I showed it. And I'm just using my striping brush and I'm making some beautiful plaid nails. Okay. Now, this wasn't as easy as it looked because you really got to make sure you get those lines straight. Just take your time. And for the long lines, you might want to use a longer brush. And that's what I'm using for all of this. Actually, I used the same brush. I didn't use a short brush. The striping brush, the longer line, it makes it a lot easier. But yeah, I'm just really upset. I'm so sick and tired of it. And it's like we are becoming so desensitized to the fact, you know, that this happens. It was gruesome to see the PNB Rock, may he rest in peace, video of him laying there and trying to get up. I know he was fighting. I know he was like, don't die, don't die. My baby needs me. You know, my girl needs me. I, I know that's what he was thinking in his last moments. And to lay there in your own blood and know that you're dying. People get mad about the videos but i say no let them see it let them see it you know it's it's disrespectful to the family yes i agree but because these are celebrities people are going to record what they're doing regardless because they're celebrities right but let them see it the world got to see emmett till because mamie till his mother said i want the world to see what they did to my baby now true enough somebody was like well the mom had a choice. Y'all not giving takeoff's mom a choice to not see her son like that. We need to see it. Maybe the killers will put their gun down and get sick if they was imagining themselves or their son or their loved ones laying in a pool of blood trying to get out the way of a situation. Maybe they'll stop. Maybe they'll think twice next time when they want to pull a trigger. That's what I'm saying. People ain't right in their minds. Like, it, it doesn't matter. I used to live in Houston. And I stayed in the house because I've heard things about Houston. I used to live in Atlanta, all over, north, south, east, west. I was all over Atlanta the six months that I lived there. And I saw things. Saw a man get beat up at a Chevron and kicked down the street and almost got hit by a bus. He was knocked out and the dude kicked him down the street. It's crazy, no matter where you go. And I, I, I hear a lot about people wanting to move and go to different places. And a lot of people from Nebraska like to move to Texas. Texas ain't nothing but a big Nebraska. So if you're trying to leave here, yeah, it might be more opportunity and, 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 and you know, houses and, you know, a better economical market or whatever. But the same old Negroes is down there because everybody going to run down there. A lot of people that are in Houston ain't even born there. Just like anywhere in the world. Take here, Omaha, Nebraska. A lot of these people ain't from here, man. And my city don't feel the same. I find myself not liking this place because bad characters come here and they bring their ways of doing things here. Omaha is real slow. Like, and not in a bad way, but we're just slow paced. It's not fast life at all. We're by the book here. You know? And you get these people that, you know, move around because the rent is cheap and you can find jobs here. They come here, okay, to make a better life, but then they bring their bad relatives with them and they want to do that fast life stuff. This ain't the place for that. Oh, and OPD don't play. OPD don't play. They don't play. They ain't they, like any other police department. They ain't afraid to bust their guns. So just, you been warned. <laughs> I told you. I told you first. They don't play. Young man just got killed recently by the police because he looked like he was reaching for something. And that wasn't his first encounter doing that. So they just went ahead and popped him, you know? And it's just like, that that's the gist that I got from it. Now, no disrespect to the family or anything like that. I don't watch the news like that. I turned my TV on and I heard that bit of it. And it's sad, you know? Not saying he deserved it or anything, but it's sad. Uh, we already got them killing us off. Why are we killing us off? Why are we killing babies, children and women too it ain't just black men as a black woman i fear for my life sometimes but to get over that fear you gotta know god god almighty jesus christ yeshua whatever you want to call he got many names jehovah jireh get to know something better and higher than yourself 
okay? Satan isn't higher than any of us. That's why Satan needs people to do his dirty work. For those of y'all that are going that way, get out of that. Yahweh is the only way. The devil is defeated. That's why he's cutting up and we are definitely in the last days. And that's why I stopped listening to rap music because that is Satan's music. There's a lot of music that's Satan's music. There's some country songs I wouldn't listen to. There's some rock and roll songs I definitely, definitely wouldn't listen to. Hell, there's some gospel songs I don't even listen to. Because what they're saying is wrong. If you know your word, then you know. Get in your word. Get in the Bible. Get in the Bible. People are like, oh, the Bible has been tampered with God, the Holy Spirit. That, that influence people to write those things cannot be tampered with. It is God's word, I'm telling you. They might have changed a couple words here. They might have taken a couple scriptures out here, a couple books out here. But guess what? It's still God's word. And it does what it's supposed to do. Read it. That is gonna, that's going to stop your fear of these buffoons with guns out here. These sick people that aren't getting, uh, you know, psychological help acting like they're okay and you thinking they're okay and they're not and their cognition is messed up i'm not blaming it on you know biology i'm not blaming it on i'm not even blaming it on the environment i'm blaming it on covid it's been going on since covid but yeah some of these people they once was okay but they caught covid and their brain ain't okay and it's okay to not be okay you know what i'm saying so that's why i started off talking about that because you take somebody that already had biological things going on with their brain chemical imbalance and stuff going on and then they catch covid it makes it worse like you really have to take it's like it like it, it it takes 10 times the effort to not blow up on somebody or not we're agitated as a people and it's not just here in america i was watching the news one morning i couldn't sleep a couple mornings ago it's talking about korea how the bit how the bridge broke and people lost their lives it's talking about india i think that was in india excuse me it's talking about you know people that are displaced because of the war that's going on over there and things like that it's crazy you can move anywhere in the world a lot of people say oh i want to go to africa there's stuff going on in the great continent of africa too it's just different battles so if you're going to move, it's basically like, hey, pick your poison. All right. So on this uh, clip right here, I am I am top coating the nail. And uh, I don't know. I, I was thinking about I should have done something else to this, but sometimes less is more. I just kind of wanted this to have the, you know, the school girl, you know, Catholic school girl school suit uniform look. And that's exactly what I was going for. And that's exactly what I did on these. Y'all, I hope y'all listening to this. Like, you know, if you if you feel like you need a place to go to just have a conversation, I am here. My comment section is open. Um, I'm going to start going live uh, again once I can get up in the morning and do it when I have time to do it in the mornings is the best that's the imperial time for me to do it. So um, I've been working on getting my biorhythms back because COVID is a mug, y'all. And we can't just blame it on COVID. I know that. I'm just saying that is a thing. And I think that's something that we're overlooking. You know, somebody, I was watching a specialist. I was watching. and No, no, no. Actually, I take that back. It wasn't even a specialist. I have heard specialists say this about COVID. But it was actually the mayor of Houston that brought that up. And that was an interesting when they was doing the, you know, the uh, press conference for takeoff, takeoff death. Once again, rest in peace to take off the mayor, which is a black mayor and the chief of police, which was a black guy. The mayor brought that up. He, he brought that up, how COVID changes things, how COVID has, you know, changed things and people aren't OK. Pretty much is what he was getting at. And I'm going to piggyback off of that because I was like, oh, my gosh, I haven't heard anybody with a major platform say that. But I know it because I'm living it. I'm not the same. You know, and it's not that I'm crazy. It's not that I'm this or I'm weak or I'm that. It's just the way it is. Some things will never change. Rest in power, Tupac. He made that song changes and that song transcends the decades because it is so true. 
Some things that never change. That song and Human Nature by Michael Jackson. May the King of Pop rest in peace. Human nature. Why? Why? Tell him that it's human nature. Why does he do me that way? Because it's human nature. But it can change. We can evolve. We have evolved as a people and we're still evolving. I find it funny to see all the newborn, you know, COVID quarantine babies that can hold their head and they're newborns, like they're fresh out the womb and they can hold their heads. That's crazy. My son wasn't doing that no 10 years ago. He was trying to crawl early and he was talking early. So our, just us and humanity all together, we're changing. We're changing. We can change this. We can do it, but we have to do it together, y'all. Okay? So that's the message today. That's what I wanted to talk about on this video. And here is the final look. These are cute. And once again, these are full coverage press-ons. If you want to know any type of techniques, just stay tuned. I, sometimes I don't get on my soapbox. Sometimes I just do the nails and I don't have nothing to talk about but what I'm doing in the video. Most of the time, you're going to get this. You're going to get me talking about what needs to be addressed. All right, y'all? Make sure y'all love on each other. Love yourself first. You have to love yourself before you can love anybody else. If you don't love yourself, if you treat yourself horrible, you're going to treat people even way worse than you treat yourself. Okay? So you got to do that got to love yourself and then make sure you're loving your neighbor as God has commanded us to do. He commanded us to love thy neighbor as you love yourself. So you got to love yourself. It starts there. All right, you guys, God bless y'all. And until the next video, thank you so much. Make sure you make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. And uh, sometimes I subscribe back. So, hey, it is what it is. All right. God bless you till the next video. Peace.